Hey everybody, it's JJ Talks, and it's Thursday on The Breakfast Club, and Tofu is making a guest appearance, I guess. Tofu, come say hi to everybody. She's like, stop watching me, you perverts. <laughs> so this week, Sister Danger brought up a, a topic that I think is kind of interesting, um, <laughs> as a girl. <laughs> but she, she brought up this incident, incident, I guess, where she was in a bar, and she was talking to this guy, and he grazed his hand over her backside, and then she was like, dude, what the fuck? Um, and then she kind of talked about the implications of that and whether or not that's okay, and how she kind of felt like she would rather have these red flags earlier than later, which I totally get. Um, and then she also brought up how some people felt like that's sexual harassment for him to do that. Um, and so I think it's interesting because I think ultimately... Unless this guy is, like, a creep and, like, literally harassing women and, like, following women around and groping them, like, which is completely different in my opinion, it ultimately comes down to, like, personal preference. I don't like being touched. I'm a very not touchy person, like, unless you're my significant other. Um, like, I don't even like when my mom hugs me sometimes. Like, I love my mom more than anything in this world, but I just, I don't like being touched. It makes me very uncomfortable. It makes me feel weird. Um... So if someone were to do that to me, I'd probably have kind of a similar reaction. Now, I'm very bad at boundaries, so I probably wouldn't have been that aggressive. Um, but it's difficult because I think it just comes down to, like, being very socially aware and socially conscious of, like, everything that you do and every move you make. Um, which is honestly one of the reasons why I feel like meeting people in this context is not necessarily the best way. Actually, I feel like Tinder might even be better than this because there's, when you talk to someone online, just like, and I'm using Tinder as an example, like, your intentions are fairly clear before you even meet this person in real life, what's going to happen, what you expect. Um, generally, I see that happen. Maybe not. But I think it just comes down to a level of social awareness. And, you know, if someone loves being touched then maybe that they're really into that and you do that and they love it and then maybe they feel like wow that was way overstepping your boundaries you don't know me don't fucking touch me um i wouldn't i wouldn't call it sexual harassment but i also didn't sister danger made this comment she said like you're not gonna know if someone likes this unless you try you could ask them. I mean, like, I feel like that's a healthy alternative. And I know a lot of people think, well, it's, it's kind of ruins the mood to be like, hey, is it okay if I touch your butt? But um, if you're two adults, it's a perfectly normal thing to say, especially if you're going to proceed into a sexual relationship. And I'm not saying that's where that's going, but if it were to go in that direction, you should be able to talk about it. Um, I feel like you should be grown up enough to do that, I guess. So... I think that would be an alternative. I don't know. I felt like I agreed with pretty much everything that she was saying, except for, like, I don't know. She was saying, like, if I say no over and over again and he keeps talking to me, like, you know, maybe he should just give it one last shot and I should be able to change my mind. I mean, like, you're right. You should be able to change your mind. But if you say no several times to a person and they keep talking to you and keep following you and keep doing this, that is, by definition, harassment. <laughs> I mean, like technical literal definition is you are telling this person directly no I don't want this from you I don't want to talk to you I don't want to engage with you and they keep doing this technically that's harassment but I think just like making that pass like you making the pass is not is not it's it, I don't know it's a weird it's a weird thing, like, navigating social situations, especially, you know, um, ac across sexes, and, like, obviously not everyone's straight, but, um, in the romantic or sexual way, it's difficult because everybody's very different, and everybody moves at different paces, so some people are like, hey, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and some are like, you know, hey, let's go on 20 dates before we get to that level and so it's, it's just really difficult and it's really like a one in a million chance of you maybe not one in a million it's probably like a one in 50 chance of you meeting with someone who moves at the same pace as you um 
and does the exact right things that make you interested in them. And it's not necessarily that you wouldn't be a good fit with this person, but that's just how you both approach the situation might be differently. And that's why I'm big about like talking to people, I guess, before I engage in that kind of like relationship because it, it makes it a lot, <laughs> a lot better. Like there's no, there's no clarity issues. Like, you know where I stand, you know where you stand and it's good. And that's probably the best thing that you can do is, I don't know. You're right. Like if you guys are having a conversation and that you haven't drawn this line in the sand and you're, you're not backing away from them, you're kind of showing interest, maybe not like heavily showing interest, but you know, showing some interest. It would follow, especially in that context, you're at a bar or whatever. But I also think that if you say no multiple times, they should not continue to try talking to you. And even just for their sake, like, I would, if someone said no to me, I'd be like, fine, fuck you, dude. Like, not literally, but I don't know. It was like Sister Danger said, like, he's immediately after he stopped, he didn't do it again. And I think that's perfectly reasonable exchange you know you're engaging with someone they make a move you say I don't like that the end um it all just comes down to being socially aware and like luck of the draw honestly and I think that's pretty much all the thoughts that I have on it tofu is again coming to say hi tofu what are your thoughts what are your thoughts on this <laughs> all right guys I will see you next week bye